So here are the colors that we're going to be using. Our chaotic red is going to be our base coat, which is going to be a very, very dark red. And carmine red, which is a bit brighter, is going to be our mid coat. And then pure red is our highlight. And then we're also going to be using some Null Oil just to reinforce some of the shadow areas as well. With this chaotic red, it's just an all over base coat. With that base coat established, with our next highlight, what we're going to do is I like to actually turn the cape around and angle it down a little bit. And then I will be spraying from this sort of angle here so that I am catching the raised areas of the folds of the cape. So we'll be like, like that. With that mid-tone established, you can see we already have this nice definition between the bright red and the darker red. But what we're going to do next is reinforce the shadows with Norn Oil. When airbrushing a shade, you want to build this up nice and slowly, especially given that the shade paint is obviously very, very thin. If you focus on one area for too long, you can get pooling and spider webbing. So just keep it nice and thin and just keep applying lots of very thin layers rather than focusing on one area. After the round of shading, you can see the difference now. We've got those really, really nice dark red shadows with those nice bright mid-tones. So our final step is to take that pure red. It's going to be the highlight tone. And it's going to be more focused. So you're aiming for the middle of the folds here. With that final highlight all applied, you see we get this really, really nice, rich, deep red cape. Now, of course, you can go even further with this. You can go into more of like an orange tone if you really want to, to reinforce the brightest points of the capes. But for this tutorial, this is where we're going to end it.